some Irish stew. This holiday season, many like 80-year-old Roberta Howie are worrying about where their next meal will come from. By the time you've, you've finished paying your rent and utilities, there's not much left over for food. Many are low-income seniors who can't keep pace with inflation. God, I worked all my life, I pay taxes, and, uh, and I can't walk into a store and afford to buy a meal. It's sad. Food banks across Canada are being stretched to the limit. Toronto's Daily Bread Food Bank says visits have more than tripled since pre-pandemic levels. Many are first-time clients. We saw double the number of individuals who have full-time employment who still have to make use of the food bank. We're going to feed the need now, but we're going to advocate for change. Organizations and volunteers across the country are stepping up to help. Major food drives were held in Toronto, Montreal and Vancouver this weekend. And on the first night of Hanukkah, B'nai B'rith has been helping out as well. This is a festival when families come together and seniors are alone, so we wanted to bring some joy to their lives. But experts say food drives and food banks are not a long-term solution. The most they're doing is a, is a short-term, very short-term relief, you know, a few days worth of food for somebody who's got a chronically inadequate income. Um, so, you know, I, I think we can't be satisfied with um, increasing donations to food banks. Hot cereal! We wanted to really do something more like hands-on that we could be doing together. Till larger systematic issues are addressed, it's everyday Canadians who will fill the gap, ensuring those in their community have food on the table this holiday season. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.